This is important because it's important to stay comfortable behind the chair with our clients, as well as it helps us with our efficiency so we can stay more organized and work more fluid throughout the haircut. Also a great tip is that we are going to appear more professional to all of our amazing clients waiting in that lobby and they're gonna wanna request us to cut their hair. So while cutting, especially these shorter styles that our men prefer, we want to make sure that we aren't really close to our client or to our chair. We want to be able to put one foot in front of the other so that we feel grounded. Also, pay attention to your body alignment, right? We want to keep our head up straight, our shoulders back, right? We don't want to drop our crown, right? So if we choose to perform a haircut using our palm to palm technique, a really great way to do that haircut and stay comfortable is to stand on the exact same clock position that we're cutting, okay? If I bring this section out, pull it, this is at nine o'clock, then my feet that are one foot in front of the other are also at nine o'clock and I'm gonna bring my shears down nice and straight wrist and cut at that exact same clock position at nine o'clock. So this is going to help me see my cutting guide better. It's also gonna prevent me from having to accidentally shift that hair out of the way and create unintentional lengths throughout the haircut that I might have to go back and refix. So again, efficiency, it definitely helps with that as well. If we wanna cut over the knuckle, which is a great technique. Typically my hair that is being held in my fingers, my fingers are gonna be pointing down and I'm gonna be cutting up from the shortest point of that guide up the head. Now I wanna make sure that I'm not too close to my mannequin because what that's going to do is that's going to bring my shoulder up and it's going to put tension in my fingers causing me to unintentionally shift that hair either forwards or backwards creating length that I didn't want to create. So if we take just two steps away from that section, if this is let's say at one o'clock, I'm going to take two steps back to three o'clock. That's going to straighten out my elbow and I know that hair is coming straight out from the head. I also wanna make sure I'm not standing directly in my client's bubble. So I'm gonna take one little step out of my bubble, again, elongating my body even more and helping me keep my neck aligned and my shoulders aligned.